Chad and I are heading out again. We're going offshore. It is foggy, 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 which I don't like very much, but it is what it is. So we're going to uh, stop by the bridge real quick, catch bait, and then uh, go from there. Got anything to add, Chad? Um, no. Catch some fish. Hopefully. Did you just say hopefully? Hopefully. Because it'd be hell? a long ride not to catch something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just a it's almost it's about a 25 mile ride just for us to get out of the bay. But it's fun. You yep. as, uh, as long as this fog goes away. Yeah, it, it will, will be fun. Otherwise it will be a little hair raising. Alright. Well, as you saw, we got bait, and now we are heading offshore. Wish us luck, because it's, it's still foggy, which sucks, but not much you can do about it. Just be careful. Well, we get to our first spot, and Chad throws out chum, and this is what's happening. <laughs> Man, I catch these inside the bay. I run out 20 plus miles to catch this. Come. Well, it's our one of our targeted species. Today is uh started off kind of rough. <laughs> our trolling motor, our wire from the base up to the head of the motor actually looked like it melted. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, the breaker didn't go off nothing and just the trolling motor just slowly just stopped working so it looks like we're gonna have to buy a new one get that one fixed have it as a spare and then be done with it so we're on anchor today so one of the key things is when when you're out and you're trying to figure out how the the, the boat is going to anchor because on a day like today there's barely any wind barely any tide so it makes it a little bit difficult but once I figured out what our what our heading was which is about 190 i'm able to go by the waypoint at 190 drop the anchor come back to it and hope to god that the wind or the tide doesn't change anytime soon so we've caught sheep's head here we've caught red grouper here we've caught um the hogfish here so we've already caught a variety of fish very quickly but it's been a rough start to the morning but we're getting there we're getting we tried some new areas and and um had some great shows of fish caught some fish but but nothing nothing great that's fishing i mean it's a beautiful day we could be sitting on the couch at the house or it could be blowing 50 miles an hour chad ain't catching nothing though what's the matter chad waiting for the bite the, the bite's going off what are you talking about oh my, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god he hooked one <laughs> Same thing I catch at every spot. Caught me another one. You don't really feel, at least I haven't, you don't really feel taps. You just feel a, the weight, weight kind of come off the bottom and then you feel a steady pull.
using that sparkling, sparkly pink Stewie jig. We have got the bottom absolutely lit up 50 feet of water. Doesn't get any better than that. Chad's lost some massive grouper. There's another, There's hog. another hog. Two in a row. Nope. No? Porgy. Porgy. Wow. Fought like, a Fought like a hog. God, these are pretty fish. Oh, pretty good for a porgy. He's like, please don't move, put me in that ice. I don't want to go in there. Pretty fish. Sure, this was another hog. Chad's on. You think it's a hog? Yep. Folks, what we're doing is we're chumming with oats that has been mixed with Manhattan and shrimp and it has got the bottom lit up like there's no tomorrow and these fish are coming up and they're actually spitting up the oats it's almost like sand balling down in the keys but it's we're not using sand with it we're just we just mix these oats manhead and oil and some some shrimp mix it all together with the salt water and then we throw it in the water and it goes down you can see it in the water right there and it floats down that's the mixture there and you can see the fish up in the water column Not big enough to keep them. What you got there, Chad? I'm pretty sure this is a nice hogfish. What'd you catch them on, Chad? A shrimp and a stewie. Dead shrimp, right? Dead shrimp on a stewie. Jeez. Pink Woo. stewie, yeah, that is a nice one. <laughs> Holy Jesus, that's a good one. I think that's the biggest one we've caught. It might be. Oh my god. That's a hog. That is a hog. I'm telling you, there had to be a male here. God dang, man. Good one. It's not, it's not nice. the biggest. But I'll take him. Try to just. There's a. The ledge uh -huh. is literally right there because both of those last two fish, I drug it over until that jig stopped. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it got to the edge of that ledge, he sucked it up. Pink stew. Yeah, what's what's been happening is that we've been chumming these fish and we've got them coming up off the bottom. You can see there, they're just, they're coming off the bottom really well. Um, I was free lining. I thought, man, I, I hooked the fish and it was a freaking remora. But we've hooked some really nice grouper here, caught two keeper uh, hogfish, and of course, the guy that catches the keepers is the hogfish king here. I catch little ones, he catches the big ones, but he's doing his little technique again. He's pulling the tail pulling off. Pulling the tail off. Pulling the head off. And then just trying to get it on the hook as much as possible so they can't take it off. And dropping it down. Dropping it down. Wait for the nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. That one, that one literally didn't. didn't feel anything hit. It was just heavy dead weight like I was hung up. 
pulled back. Ooh, look at that one digging. Kind of doing this I'm doing the same thing that we do inshore I'm free lining I just got my butt handed to me so I'm, I got my big boy pole so I'm free lining like we do inside but I'm free lining dead bait and uh, I got hammered and I couldn't stop them so I said well I'm not doing that again we got a major fog bank rolling in on us it was foggy first thing this morning and then it Kind of cleared up and now we got this giant fog bank coming at us which i hate but oh well well we made it back to the dock after running 90 miles <laughs> that's a long trip that's a just a long long trip uh the bite was kind of iffy today and plus our trolling motor went out we got to get that i'm buying a new one um it burned the wiring melted from the head to the to the control unit down below so something happened there i don't know what our breaker didn't trip i don't know anyway but here's what we caught see that nice size mangrove two two nice hogfish porgies and we got a sheep's head underneath there somewhere so all in all it was a it was an okay day it was okay um a lot better than some others that I heard. I heard there was a head-on collision just west of uh, the spoil, Port Manatee Spoil Island this morning and sent five people to the hospital. One, I guess, is critical. So uh, hopefully they turn out okay. Um, when it's foggy out there like that, I would really r highly recommend being very, very safe, very careful. Don't speed. Chad and I were doing about 23 miles an hour out. Um, I'm very conscious of where I'm at and plus I try to go towards the middle of the bay and kind of get away from high traffic areas but if you're out there I saw some guys today in the golf that were full bore I mean and I could barely see them and they were maybe four or five hundred feet away at times and they were going as fast as they wanted to go and and I was like this just doesn't make sense it, even they may have had radar I really didn't pay attention but still, even in that case, there's no reason to go that fast um, out in open water like that where there's there was a ton of boats out there today. So just always remember, try to be safe on the water and, and um, you know, you want to always come back alive. But uh, anyway, I've got three videos, uh, four videos now that I've got to edit. I knocked one out this morning at four o'clock in the morning. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, again the support has been unbelievable Ooh, Chad just lost a nice one so anyway fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side right Chad yep. <laughs> Chad is such a man of words <laughs>